Ruff Ruffman, humble media genius. Photos and you. Today we're talking about photos. Many of you take pictures with your phones and music players. Now pictures are a great way to share memories of friends, like Blossom and me. Here, I'll show you. So, uh, oh, well, here's one of me. Uh, there's another one of me. Oh, that's a good one. Ha <laughs> ha, classic Ruffman. Uh, selfie, another selfie. Ah, Chet, my tiny photographer friend. I see you're taking pictures of your food and posting them to your photo feed. Oh, I got it. You know, everyone who sees those pictures is gonna get really hungry. Uh, Chet, did you know that when you share a photo, information included with the picture might show your exact location? In other words, I think you have guests. You should probably switch your photo sharing settings to private. Ah, let's see. Uh, oh, there's me. Me again. Selfie. Moi. Oh, here we go. Blossom. It's us. Look. Ah, memories. Taking photos lets you see things you can't otherwise see. Like a plant growing. Oh! Blossom. Can you get me a vase? Lots of us have terrific cameras in our phones and gizmos. You can take pictures as a game. Like an alphabet scavenger hunt, taking photos of letters to spell a name. Hey, Blossom, check out what I... Princess Blossom Pepperdoodle Von Yum Yum. Yeah, sure, that's pretty good too. All right, now you're just showing off. Having easy access to cameras means you can also send pictures to loved ones. Hi, Grandma. Thanks for the outfit. I might wear it forever. Cause this zipper won't open! Chet! Music, please!